So the older I get, the more I realize that discipline is one of the most important traits for happiness or for contentment. Um, that cultivating some sense of discipline is required to get you to long-term joy. Short-term joy is easy. Eat a cake, you know, sleep in. Easy to get those short-term joys, but when you, you to, to get the long-term joys, you have to show up day after day. You have to make the decision that your higher self would make, like, okay, I'm gonna get up right now even though I don't want to. I'm going to walk right now even though I don't want to. I'm going to not call that person even though I want to. I'm not going to watch this thing. Last night I actually watched, I was right at bedtime and I'm like, oh, the, the, the weekend update Saturday Night Live did a little thing on the Oscars and Will Smith. I'm like, I should not watch this. I certainly should not watch it right at bedtime. Like I'm, I'm practically asleep. Don't, don't rile yourself up. And I'm like, oh, but I want to. Oh, but I want to. And I was like, my higher self was like, don't, you don't do this. And my now immediacy, I want it, you know, it was like, do it. So I watched it. But that's an example of like, look, those are the kind of discipline you need to have. Like, you know, this is not the best for you. And one of the ways that I find to be most helpful in making those decisions is starting to think about the relationships of the different parts of yourself. It's not, I mean, just trying to willpower your way through is, is really difficult. So you have to figure out some sort of systems or, or conversations. Like one of the conversations I have is with future me. And can I give a gift to future me? You know, would future me life be easier or would you have moments of, of, of appreciation or joy or feeling healthy if I didn't eat that second bowl of ice cream or if I made that phone call that I didn't want to make? And so feeling like I'm giving a gift to this future person that is me, I can f find that can be like a, a, it gives me joy. It gives me a, 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 a a immediate feeling even though otherwise the only immediate feeling that gives me joy is to you know do the bad thing or not do the good thing so that's part of it is that you know relationship to future you another one that my friend anthony told me he said think of think about the best version of yourself what would they do and related to that is what I like to do. I have a series of like I am statements or a manifesto for yourself. Write you know, a few descriptions of who you are at your best. You know, one of mine is I am a vessel of love in the world, which has led to my Love Morning broadcasts and the Love Ambassador practices. Because if I, if I, if I act in that way, I will feel good that I am acting as my, the best version of myself. So when I'm out for a walk and the immediacy now part of me goes, oh, I feel awkward, I don't wanna say hi to that person. What if they don't say hi back, you know, or whatever. And then I go, well, higher self version of me would wants us to say hi and be courageous and step into that version. So do that, even if it's scary, because at the end of the day when it's time for bed, you will feel like, hmm, good job. That's who we wanted to be today. And then the other parts of it is accountability, and, and some sort of you know, practices, like telling somebody else what you, what you plan to do. And this really depends on how you're wired. If you look at The Four Tendencies, a great book by Gretchen Rubin, she talks about the four tendencies and which, which tactics will be the best for you to make the right decisions. For me, I'm an obliger, so like if I tell you I'm gonna do something or state it publicly online, I'm way more apt to do it. If I just tell myself, get up early and exercise, you know, that's like, ah. But if I say, I'm gonna text you tomorrow morning after I exercise, especially if I say, and text me back, and if I don't text you, text me and say, hey, did you exercise today? Because that, like, mm, I don't like that feeling of not doing what I said I was gonna do to somebody else. Um, and then, you know, if, if it's like a, a, a tracking, some form of tracking, like if you do a, like a, a, a habit journal, 
you can look up like habit journal online there's uh, or at amazon i bought one like a calendar and it you know it's got like a, a, a spiral thing and you you put the tasks and then each day you just check off that you do them and and for many people i have not been doing it lately but when i was doing it it was nice you see it start to get filled in and you start to get these serotonin strokes you know in the same way that certain social media things give you like this positive feeling when you you know scroll or click you can get positive feelings from checking off the boxes and doing the things that you said you're going to do but it's a practice and other thing is keep giving yourself permission to start again the hardest thing to do is get started the easiest thing to do is to keep stopped when you take a vacation or something you take a break or you, you know you, you get out of your schedule and your normal patterns and it's really hard you, to, to get back. But just give yourself permission to start again, start again, start again. Good luck. <laughs>